Here we go Android 14 is finally out on the scene with the new features that will be adopted by Samsung on their upcoming One US 6.0 since Samsung has finally perfected their optimization and us smoothness with the One UF 5.1 on. The Galaxy S3 series with One US 6.0 they can fully focus on bringing new exciting features and perhaps a new look recently Samsung has been inspired by Apple to add things like the image background crop the photo lock screen customization etc and now with the One US 6. Zero we could actually see a redesign of the always on mode to have live activities. Samsung One UI 6.0, based on Android 14 is set to bring new features and a possible redesign of the always-on mode. This would be so dope considering I really like Samsung's always-on mode implementation it's very subtle but at the same time it gives you the right info big shout out to Concept Central for these renders make sure to check them out before we talk about Android 14 here's a list of Samsung devices that will be receiving the official Android 14 update Samsung is now sporting flagship phones for up to 4 years so so we'll see this update down. Three generations of Galaxy S3s meaning from S21 all the way to Galaxy S3 series same thing for the Galaxy A series so from A52, A53 to the latest A54 lineup and same for the fallible so from default 3 all the way to the upcoming Z Fold 5, Z Flip 5. As for the release did you can expect this to happen somewhere around October of this year now on to the new Android 14 features that we can expect to be on the One US 6. Zero starting with even more system level polish under the hood. With improvements to security less usage of the resources so the efficiency of the overall OS has improved hence improving performance and battery life this is going to be the smartest most efficient version of the Android ever next up. Android 14 can introduce a bloatware section where user can uninstall all the bloatware apps on their phone now this is one of my favorite with NR14 Google is looking to add the cloning app feature by default since already allows. This to happen with certain apps but with the Android 14 it could come natively and have support for pretty much all applications next up is customization with Android 14 Google is looking to add even more colors to its colored palette customization that they first introduced with the Android 14. Moving on to predictive back tab one of the things that could be a bit confusing for new Android users is the back gesture thanks to the new predictive back gesture users will be able to tell whether the back gesture will take them to the home screen or to the previous page within the same application or to a separate app entirely Android 14 also adds even larger font with an increased limit up to 200% compared to the 130 of the Android 13. Now this one is also my favorite Android 14 will make it easier for developers to allow user to choose their own language for individual applications and finally Android 14 will be the most developed and mature for folding smartphones. This is a treat for Samsung because one of the things that Google has worked really hard on with Android 14 is to have seamless optimization for different aspect ratios especially that we see with folding smartphones making it very easy for app developers to optimize their apps for these larger screens with the Android 14. With Android 14 we can see an even better experience with the falling smartphones so these are some of the core new Anna 14 changes that will be the part of One US 6. Zero Google is planning to release four more developer previews until we see the official version so we're gonna see even more features with a future build as always let me know your thoughts in the comment section below with that being said I'll see you